We got trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Shoutcast server is dead. But it's easy enough to resurrect. I'm just pissed that it happened. So basically, here's the symptom. Can you guess? Can you guess from the sound of the click clunk what brand the drive is? If you said Western Defective, you're right. Son of a bitch. You know, I had some data on there I would have liked. I didn't need it, need it. I have the most important stuff backed up, but... Son of a fucking bitch. Alright, well, here we go. It's been a long time since I've worked on one of these things. So, we'll undo the power cables. Oh, God. <laughs> IDE, if anybody remembers that. Yeah, it's still in operation. Cables are fucking tight. There. Now, I know this screw has got to come out. But I don't know if the rest of the cage just comes out now, or if I gotta fuck around with it. Oh, well, that's easy. Does it just pivot out? I forget. Oh, I could just park it there. And four screws. Done! Indeed, Western Defective. 10 gigabyte, even. Oh, look! An upgrade. WD-100 to a WD-200. Why am I putting it in? Last I knew this drive worked and it's handy, so drop that in. Four screws later, it's installed. Okay, that's mounted up now. Uh, you know, I just had a scary thought here. Uh, I remember when Chad knackered the, the failed log machine, I had so much trouble with that. I hope this wasn't the drive I put in there and then just took out and threw back on the pile because I was pissed with it. I hope I, you know, at least wrote something on it, but I guess we're going to find out what's on this and what's what the deal is. So, anyway, I'm going to go cable this up. By the way, I did set the jumper over here to master because that was the boot drive. The media is kept on this drive, and that's nice and safe and sound, so didn't lose that, but all the configuration and shit, which is really the main thing here, is the big thing. Now, I think I actually have an image of this uh, somewhere, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if I actually want to go about uh, using that. I think I might just go and reinstall Windows. Um, but... Because I, well, you know, not, not for nothing. I don't think I made many changes to it. So I'll see if I have the image. And uh, maybe we'll go that route. But anyway, I'm going to get this cabled up. And then we'll see what we're going to do next. Okay, I have the Nacrid HP monitor here. Let's go on the BIOS here and make sure that it shows up. I don't know why it's all wavy that way, but I guess that's all right. <laughs> I really don't care as long as it works. Yep, 20 gig, and the others are 40. Okay, it's all there. Let's see if it actually boots. If it does, that means I probably don't want to use this drive. No, don't look like it. I'll just uh, control alt delete. Just in case. Actually, in case it didn't want to listen to that, I'll just poke the reset button quick. Yeah, I don't like that waviness shit, but it's probably just this monitor. Ah, uh, that means this is probably the drive I don't want to use. Doesn't sound like it's loading. Alright, well, I guess what I'm going to do is uh, run a, a quick test on this drive and see if it's 
slow and if so then I'll have to put a different one in but in the meantime let me figure out exactly what I'm gonna do and then we'll come back okay I hooked up my old mad dog external I don't even know what size it is it's on <coughs> it's great let's just see that just rebooted itself oh cuz uh, some of these that didn't like the mouse on it yeah so we'll have to boot that again but anyway, like I was saying, it's hooked up and it's USB 1 and hopefully, uh, hopefully I do have an image on there, I really don't remember. But USB 1, it's going to be a minimum of, say, 8 gig to transfer, so that's going to be uh, certainly an overnight thing. And I don't remember when I last took an image, it's at least two years ago, probably more. But uh, really, I mean, it just sits there and runs and doesn't do anything, so... Anyway, we're going to let this boot back up, and uh, let's see what the deal is here. We're almost there. That's it. Uh, i got to, like, tab around recovery. Analyzing partitions. been a long time since I've used this images the light on it is blinking so it is reading and it's got a little hourglass there Huh. New Shoutcast Backup, 2009. So that was four years ago. But that's good. Dual station set. IP address, old firewall port, ports open, screen res set to whatever it is. That's definitely the one I want. Next, uh, we're going to restore disks. Uh, there. That's what I want. And now it says, where do you want it to go? That's where I want it to go. To the 20 gig I just put in. Next. Uh, yes, I want to delete the partitions on the destination hard disk. Next. Uh, you can also restore another partition or whatever. No, I don't and uh, that's it next so we're new shoutcast backup to hard drive C uh, the original image size was 9.3 gig that's it proceed and uh, God only knows how long this is going to take so I guess that's going to be it for a while until I find out what the hell is going on. So, I guess, take care for now. Well, I'd love to say we're coming into the home stretch, but that's not actually the case. We've still got uh, quite some time yet, but it is moving along. It's doing its thing. That flash is a brighter blue, if I'm not mistaken, when uh, it's actually being accessed. And over here... You can see we definitely are doing something. Um, I think I think these images are compressed as well, uh, just because I can, and it doesn't actually seem to take up that much more time in creating them. So anyway, uh, this would be great if this actually works. I will have to expand the partition out and hope that it continues to boot after that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to rerun this process overnight. But I think what we'll do is let this finish up 
and uh, then we'll just try booting the system flat out just to see what in the hell happens and if it comes up I'll shut down and uh, then run G parted uh, I have a newer version around somewhere but this will have to do and see if that'll allow me well I know it'll allow me to expand the partition but we'll have to see if it boots after that anyway we'll be back in about 42 minutes oh I doubt it okay that's sad uh, I don't know if I could actually even exit from here to try it restarting Eject the disk. Shouldn't worry about the USB drive at all. Oh. Certainly sounds fine. I have no idea what this is going to look like. I mean, it's four years ago. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. But it was created off of this system. Holy fuck. Wow, it's just there. Now, I did forget to plug the damn mouse in. So that's going to be a problem, but I am going to run Gparted and uh, see if I can uh, expand the disk. See if it'll allow me to fucking even check the props on here. It should. It's trying to detect the external. Yeah, it only sees it as 10 gig. All right, that's exactly what I figured. Obviously, I mean it. That's what it was restored from. Uh, but everything else looks all right. So we're gonna turn. I'll just turn it off because I do want to plug the mouse back in. And, uh, let's see if we can do that actually right here. Just to, to be nice, I'll actually wait till the power's down. Still trying to shut down. There it goes. And now all I gotta do is just get that plugged in. Oh, it's gonna be one of these nights. Oh god, it's getting so late already, and I got no sleep last night. All right, we're plugged in, and we have G parted. Power up. Eject. It's set to boot off the CD. Ooh. It's making uh, loud bearing sounds. That's excellent. All right, but we got the mouse plugged in. It's been a very long time since uh, since I used this version. I've been using the newer one that I had. But hey, if it works, it works. I don't even remember what it looks like. It's been a very long time since I used this version. Oh, one of these years eventually I'll get to see why this backlight is still knackered even though I wired them together. I had another monitor that Chad gave me, but uh, Dan at work broke the fucking screen on his laptop, so 
He says, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I lend him the monitor, and I don't know when I'll ever see that back. The good, no good news is, because you can't trust anything that Chad brings over, it sat outside all winter, so the VGA plug was rusty and shit. I do know it powers up, because I tried that much, but other than that, I don't know if it actually works. Hopefully it did for him. I think we're getting close. I seem to remember, yeah, when you see the brown there. And we'll do that. Hopefully it'll agree with the video controller and the screen. Yeah, we're getting something. We have the Linux X. <laughs> It launches. Oh, let's see. It's gonna be a while. It's searching SDA. It's gonna search SDB. Sometimes this can take upwards of a minute and change. Oh, there it came up. Uh, okay, let's see what we got. HDA, HDB, and SDA. So we need HDA, which is that, there's that, and uh, resize, uh, new size, I'll just, uh, let's see, 19093, 1903. Okay, grow from 9.31 to 18.65. Apply. Apply. God only fucking knows if this is going to work. That's running a simulation, it says. Oh boy. Real resize. Okay, completed. Close. We'll just wait for it to reread the disks. Now, if for some reason it does not boot again, I'm just going to restore it back 10 gig as it was and just leave it the fuck alone because I need to get this up and running and maybe I'll fart around with it another time. But anyway, I'm going to shut down. I'll come back for the uh, boot after this. Okay, external hard drive is disconnected, Etherwebs is plugged in, drive has been resized, and... Sounds like it's crunching away. I like that kind. And I even have the, uh, that's actually normal because it, we have fucked with the parameters of the disk considerably. Uh... So that's why it's marked as a dirty, uh, the, the dirty flag is, uh, is up, so that's why it's checking it. So we're going to wait, and... You know, actually, last time it did this was right after I replaced the power supply from Hurricane Sandy, but I thought nothing of it. Uh, I mean, it was just a... I mean, it wasn't a graceful shutdown when it happened, but, uh, it, you know, it did just abruptly power off. But, I mean, how many times do you do that just because you get pissed at your own machine, or... It fucks up, or it just craps out by itself, I don't know. It seems to be moving. Alright, I guess we'll come back. There's no sense in leaving you here for this. Okay, we're good. It's just, uh, just gotten past the splash screen. And blammo mouse pointer. Excellent. You may be wondering why before when I re-imaged it said something to the effect of screen resolution set to 1024 by 768 60 hertz. That's because the monitor I have hooked up to it is really, really old. And as such, uh, it doesn't support anything higher than 60 hertz at that resolution. And that's why. <laughs> 
So, anywho, it looks like we are just about up and running here. So I'm going to let this finish and I'll see if I can just get it up online for, for a minute or so. Let's take a look. Oh, looks like somebody might, might need to get banned. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Let's see here. Why, why does this look different? Oh, it does not like, uh, does not like these songs. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, select, all, remove, selected, add, folder. My, oh my. Been a long time. We gotta add that folder. And we gotta add that folder. And now we're gonna sort it as title. Save playlist as playlist. Just right on the desktop temporarily. Save, play. It is transmitting. I think there's a newer version of this, but I think I have a fix for that too. But anyway, let's go see if this works. Okay, watch your eyes. You're going to see a lot of flicker. Yeah, I love that kind. It's kind of working. The good news is that this update was done on the other drive, so that information is all still there. And I don't have to do a goddamn thing to uh, correct any of that. So that is certainly working enough. For now, I have to go through the playlist and go through all of these so it gets rid of the .mp3, but that's easy enough. I have no idea why they're not in order here, but I'll work on that in time. Apparently the latest backup I have uh, from this is back from 2012, July. Um, so I lost a year on the log, but uh, I haven't tried to retrieve any data off the drive here. I'm going to try the freezer trick, leave it on a hot dashboard kind, and shit like that. But I also had backed everything else up as far as the shoutcast settings and that, because it's getting increasingly hard to download. And... Uh, Years ago, when I had the time to do this shit, you know, it was easy because I could just spend forever, but now I'm just looking to do it as quick and dirty as possible. So I'm trying to just copy everything over, including those log files, and hopefully it should just pick up right where it left off. So I'm just going to close these windows down, and that's only got 20 more seconds. And really that's all just the log files, but we do have to wait for those to be closed before um, I can go ahead and start the program. And actually I ought to copy Winamp over as well, because that uh, is something else that uh, is going to need uh, copying. So I'll do that also, because that has the plugin that was looking kind of knackered. Mm. No, 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 no. Shoutcast. This is what I did, I believe, when I fixed Brian's Shoutcast server. So we'll copy that. And we're going to go into here and here. And we're going to go down to Program Files. And look for Winamp. And just delete it. And wait for it to probably delete. Good. And we're going to paste that in now. A couple of minutes, so we'll come back and see how it works. Apparently there's a shit ton and a half of uh, automatic updates to be done. 
I can't get them directly, but let's see if we can launch that. And the console, console loaded, has not thrown any errors. This is loading. Winamp is okay. It has the newer shit, so I love that kind. Um, playlist, manage, open. That one there. Play. Looks like she's going. It says active down there. So now we'll just do the same for the second one and we have successfully resurrected the Shoutcast server. Now I'm going to make a video about this and how and why uh, at another time. I don't know when, but... Anyway, uh, the most important lesson here, even though I didn't have to learn it this time, is never put the cover on until you're done and it's been tested and it's proven to be working. Because if you put it on before, invariably, you're going to take it off again. It's hours and hours later now. I know I'm never going to get this lucky, but the old hard drive is hooked up. I just hooked it up to another machine. I was able to get my log files back. It's running. The bearings are loud as fuck. The heads are probably scraping on there. We're going to back this shit up immediately while we have the opportunity. Next, we're going to back up my computer. If I remember I'm doing this right. Um, it doesn't see it. And I know I have it plugged in. Hmm. That's not cool. Okay, I might have to do it on another machine. That's really odd. As it is plugged in, there is even a red light. Yikes. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, I did get my data. Hopefully I can uh, get the rest of this working. All right, that's it for now. Against all odds, I was able to finally get this to go. I tried to use uh, multiple machines, but just due to the uh, age of this program and the amount of USB devices connected, etc., I just wasn't happening. So, I know I have used it on my netbook with that external optical drive and that external hard drive. Fortunately, there's enough room on it. That drive is behaving for now. And here's what I wrote. So basically, with any luck, this will drop in. After another hour, I'll be able to restore it to the other system. And, uh, hopefully I'll be right back in business right where I was before it failed. That'll be pretty sweet. I don't know if I'm ever going to bed tonight. But hey, when you're the IT guy and there's nobody else, you're on call 24-7 for when your own server goes down. So I have no idea if I'm actually going to get any sleep tonight, but I'll get the server back up and running. Yikes! If this works and it can stay running for that long, I'll have my image. If it restores and it boots, I got nothing to worry about. Just pick up right where we left off. Save me a tremendous amount of work just doing updates and that. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Well, I'm totally beat to fuck now. It's the next morning. I left this restoring data overnight from the image that I made in the kitchen before. It says it did it. We'll hit OK and try to exit here like that. I don't have the mouse plugged in, so I don't want to make that mistake again. So let me just catch this uh, the right way before everything gets fucked up. Take out the disk, power it down so we don't hurt nothing. 
and plug this thing back in. With any luck, this is going to boot up like nothing happened. I did get a little scare out of it before when I tried to restore it. I tried to do it over the network. Yes, it's working. Anyway, I tried to do it over the network, and uh, it told me that the image that I had just created was not a valid image. And I said, no, nah, no, nah, you can't. It, it's got to be something that it just doesn't like about going over the network. Although I have restored them over the network before, it didn't like it. I don't know why. And I said, fuck it, I'm going to bring the drive back down here. I did. And it looks like it paid off. Because now everything should be exactly as it was. No, well, apparently not. I don't know why. Alright, well I guess I got some more farting around to do. It looks like it didn't do anything. Alright, well I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> this is what happens when you're completely tired and don't know what the fuck you're doing anymore. It's all done. Now, what I just did, I re-imaged again, because I think the image that I put onto the system last night, after I had created it on my netbook, was the old image again, <laughs> and I didn't actually put the new one on. Anyway, let me uh, shut down and hook the mousey up and see if it'll boot. All right, let's see what's gonna happen. I will have to run Gparted, I know, because it's only going to be 10 gig. Uh, okay. Yeah, that would probably make sense because it got knackered. Actually, I didn't test the old drive to make sure it boots, so let's see what the fuck happens now. I just put Gparted in, just to have it in the drive for when I go to reboot. What I really ought to do is create another image out of this, but not for nothing. It's probably fine. I'll just deal with the little Windows hiccup. Wish there was a way to edit it and make a note of that afterwards. Say, hey, you know, this is a kind of knackered image and uh, it's blah blah blah. Alright, let's see now. Oh, yeah. That's it. I got everything back. We are back in fucking business. Now all we need to do is just shut down and uh, put, uh, what do you call it, uh, Gparted on there and expand the drive and we know we're all set. So let me go and do that. Okay, here's Gparted. And there we are. Uh, HDA. That is the correct one. You'll see that we have that and not the rest. So we're going to right click that, resize, and basically do this over again. It should work. 19093, I had to put number lock on. And that's that. So now it says it's going to grow that. Okay. Apply. Apply. Check file system. Run simulation. Real resize. Okay, completed successfully. Now it's rereading uh, the drive here. It should show up. I mean, it kind of shows already, although it's just grayed out. There we are. I'm going to exit. We'll shut down. 
this makes an awesome sound when it shuts down coming out of Linux. I mean, this is really basically Linux. It makes an awesome sound. Or it did before. I don't know if it if it will or what, whatever the deal is, but... It actually shuts the hard drive down and then shuts down the actual system, which is kind of nifty. I'm liking that. It's probably going to run a uh, check disk, which is fine. I'm liking it. Good, fine. We'll let that run and we'll come back. Okay, just rebooted. Went past the splash screen. We have the mousey. day now. There we are. We're in. And there we are. We've got 10 gigabytes worth of free space almost, so that's kind of awesome. And it found new shit, which is fine. That's good. No bangs on here. Everything's cool. And that's it. Now all we got to do is shut her down and shove her back where she goes and turn on the broadcast. Awesome. It's fucking fixed. Got real lucky on this that that drive decided to cooperate one last time. I have no idea why the camera does not want to focus on uh, on this screen. It does that with a lot of screens. But anyway, everything's all set. That's awesome. And uh, we'll come back for the final test. There you go. Back up and broadcasting. It's all done. That's switching the song there. Yeah, absolutely. That's uh, just playing that because that's what happened to be in the queue or what, what's loaded or whatever the deal is. I don't even know, but whatever, it's there. It works. Everything is broadcasting. We've been re-added and uh, I love that kind. So we'll go and test out, make sure the music works kind. That's the deal. She works! I fixed it, finally! Yes! Good night, everybody. I gotta get some sleep.